I want to talk about this story out of Texas because uh, earlier this month at Central High School, which is part of the Keller Independent School District in Texas, a film crew from the Netherlands came into the building with all their equipment and they just started filming students. Like they started filming interviews with students and things like that. And usually if you're going to do that, you got to have a lot of parental consent forms, maybe a public statement that lets people know why there are strangers in the building, because that's the sort of thing you really want to know about these days. There was none of that. No one knew why these people were in the building, who gave them permission to film, things like that. <clears throat> the principal of the school didn't do anything because the principal wasn't at the school that day. In fact, that may be why this film crew showed up on that day. The only people who seemed to know why they were there were the two school board members who were with the film crew. That's probably why they got access. Their names are Sandy Walker and Micah Young. And so the crew started filming conversations between like Sandy Walker and some of the students. And only when students begin like going on social media saying, there are these people filming us in school today and it's weird. Only then did Sandy Walker share this message on social media. Here you go. Let me share this with you. Keller ISD community. I recently participated in a foreign documentary focused on public schools in Texas. Some filming took place while students were present. Like she was doing interviews with the students. Why is she acting like, oopsie, some students got caught on film. Like she was talking to them with a the camera in her face, whatever. I take safety and privacy of our students seriously. I apologize for allowing students to be captured on film. The district has taken steps to remedy the situation and ensure no students will appear on film. I will continue to passionately serve our students, educators, and staff of this great district. Okay, fine. She apologizes for something that, I mean, the problem is she let these people in the building and we don't even know what this film is about. She's apologizing that some students were caught on camera, even though she totally helped them be on camera. So what were these interviews about? What was the film about? Why is she being kind of creepy and deceptive and shady about all this stuff? And by the way, they weren't just filming interviews with people. There were drones outside the building hovering around the school during dismissal, probably to get like overhead shots for the eventual movie. Um, which again, if you don't know why they're there, that's a creepy thing to see outside your public school. Uh, Micah Young, who's the other board member, also shared something online. Let me show you that. Keller ISD parents and community members, I want to take a moment to address the recent presence of a film crew on a high school campus where I briefly assisted my colleague, like, don't blame me, it was her, in an interview about Texas public schools. During the time I was there, I did not observe any students being interviewed. I regret if any students were captured on film. My understanding is the district has been assured by the crew that no student will appear in the footage. Blah, blah, blah. All the rest of that stuff is the same. Okay, so he's apologizing for something. I don't know. I don't know how they regret students appearing on film when they were interviewing students for the film. Uh, it's also bizarre to say we'll work together for the safety of our community when the lack of transparency is why a lot of kids and then their parents were complaining about all this. Um, but we do know some things. We do know what that film crew was. The film crew was part of a uh, Netherlands evangelical TV network that previously produced a movie called God, Jesus, Trump. So there's good reason to think these filmmakers were producing right-wing propaganda. Using teenagers without their parents' consent, which is the sort of thing the right likes to accuse the left of doing all the time. Um, and they also had the support of two board members who deliberately circumvented rules in place to prevent this sort of thing from happening. Like, you know, if a left-wing media outlet did something like this, you know what the conservative reaction would be. In fact, Walker previously wrote an essay for a news outlet in which uh, she actually said, I'm going to quote here, kids are off limits when it comes to adults wanting to push their political ideology. Like, how's that for hypocrisy? So eventually the superintendent of the district sent out a statement saying the district and the board were not aware of any of this, even though two of the board members were part of this. 
Um, one of the reasons we know all this is because there was a parent in the community, Lainey Hawes. She has kids in the district. She was the one who really made this go viral online. She pointed out that these trustees, these school board members, they lied to staff about the crew having permission to film in the building. She said the filmmakers were given security badges, giving them access to the space. And so staffers had no reason not to believe them. She also pointed out that both of those school board members have their board campaigns run and funded in part by the right wing Patriot Mobile, which is a powerful, you know, lobbying group or a powerful campaign group in Texas. She also said they were overheard disparaging trans kids. They snuck a banned book into the library to show on camera. She said that one of the trustees snuck in through a side door. Um, and by the way, this was not mentioned in uh, her post, but actually Walker, Sandy Walker, one of those board members, she actually invited in 2022, a messianic rabbi named Mark Aaron Griffin to deliver an invocation at the start of their school board meeting. And that's illegal. You can't have invocations at the start of school board meetings, but that was problematic for another reason. Cause the rabbi she invited to speak was quote, awaiting trial on four counts of sexual assault. That's the guy she invited to deliver a prayer. Um, and I do have one bit of good news to just kind of close this out, which is that this past Sunday, uh, Sandy Walker, the school board member who did all this stuff, she announced her resignation. Look at this. Uh, over the past 20 months, I have had the privilege to serve the KISD community. I enjoyed my time. No one cares. Yada, yada, yada. After spending time in prayer, conversations with family and close friends, she doesn't have close friends, I have made the decision to resign from my position as a school board trustee. And then look at the last thing she writes. My faith is in Jesus and I can rest in the confidence of knowing his plans are good. God bless something in the Bible. Like, what are you doing at that point? One, by putting the Bible verse, you're just showing why you have no place being a public school board member. But two, like, what are you talking about? I, his plans are good. Like, you deceived everybody. You purposely lied to get this weird film crew in the school. And now you're like, whatever happens is up to God. Like, no, take responsibility for what you did. It's your fault. Um, now, the other guy, Micah Young, I don't believe he has resigned yet, but Lainey Hawes, that activist parent, she said online that we will exhaust all legal avenues until both of them step down. The next board meeting <clears throat> for that school district is on February 29th. Based on the backlash so far against what those board members did, should be very active. I will pause there. What other questions we got here? If you put my children on film without my knowledge and consent, there will be lawyers. Me. Yeah, right on. I mean, I don't I don't want that for my kids. I imagine a lot of parents don't want that of theirs. And again, the fact that they not just snuck in the camera crew, but uh didn't even get permission, didn't tell parents what was going on, that is shady. God Jesus Trump. Yikes. That title alone sounds terrible. It does because you know the people on their side of the aisle, they equate all three of those. Like uh, Brian Houston equates ladies and girls. It's all one and the same. Yeah, you're allowed to deceive others if it's for the sake of furthering your religion. And that is how the Republican Party operates. You are correct.